Good uh, morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today is exciting because finally I got something that I have been waiting for for a long time. Spring I told you guys all the animals that we wanted for our farm this year and today, actually late last night, we got four new pets. So here you see the beginnings of our little turkey farm. <laughs> we have four little turkeys. Even's just hatched. <laughs> They're struggling. Get up. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, they don't walk for like the first 24 hours. I mean, they can. Yeah, he hatched last night. Oh, this guy's brand new. He's soaked. Are you okay? Yeah, they're okay. Anyway, these are the turkeys. They're not dead. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get five out of this whole batch, but only four have hatched so far. So I'm hoping another one hatches. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to go get some turkey food for them at the store, and then I'm going to put them in their own little area. It's okay. <laughs> this guy really looks cramped. It's okay. Oh, he's the one probably that just hatched. But anyway, this is the guy that hatched last night. Sophie called him Wilbur. Wilbert. That's his name. Wilbert. But anyway, I'm going to cover them up so that they can get warm and dry off. Because they're pretty wet still. Super cute though. Look at how cute he is. Turkeys can be annoying. They are kind of dumb like guineas. Not quite as bad, but they're kind of more like a game bird than like a chicken, like a pet bird. But they also bond really, really closely and they can be so, so, like they love so hard. Like turkeys bond so strong and that's what I'm really excited about. I love, I love that they bond. Today I was sitting down in the goat field and they were chewing, the babies were all chewing my hair and I am just feeling so blessed. You just can't be unhappy when you're surrounded by amazing animals. Like you just can't. Like it just feels so amazing. And especially in the warm weather when it's sunny and warm and you, I could just sit down there all day and feel fulfilled. We are back from... Get a bowl and put a worm in it so that we can give it to the chickens. Oh, give it to them. Keep it for the garden. Chicken. Anyway, Sophie's taking over this part of the garden. And what what do you want to plant in here, Get Sophie? Roses. Roses. So we are back from shopping. And we did a bunch of shopping. We got a lot of stuff. Sophie got her own little garden shovel. This is her first time being interested in gardening. And roses. <laughs> and roses. They're my favorite flower. They're her favorite flower. Mine are... What is that? Ew. Mine are peonies are my favorite flower. I found a spring. And there's lots of peonies in this property, so I'll show you guys in a bit. Anyway, she's going to plant her rose bush. She just got one today because I want to see how she does before I spend a ton of money on roses because these things are not super cheap. It's a big one. So that has to be quite big, quite deep. Has to be like 12 inches deep. I don't know if this is a good spot. It is. So this is what it looks like. She got red this time. Yeah, because maybe I should have bought you gloves. Take it out. No, you take it, it out. Has thorns. It does have thorns. That's why I hate roses. Yeah, but they're pretty. How do I take it out? Just tip the thing upside down and hold the bottom. See the bottom of the. Yep. There's no thorns down if there. Bobby runs this over. <sighs> My brother has a habit of running and things I over. And I ruffle this up, right? Yeah, ruffle that up. Yeah. Just wait. Just down at the bottom a little. Just a little. Is that enough water? No, you gotta give it lots of water. Remember, it's gonna wilt a little bit. Die? No, just wilt. We are going to fix this all up so that it has a bunch of roses on this side. I'm all out of water. That's okay. I don't like this here. Well, you can move that. So we're gonna put two rose bushes on that side, one rose bush on this side. So it will be pretty. We're gonna get it nice and pretty. And yeah, the chickens are out because you saw one down at the barn. Yeah, I just hope that the chickens don't attack it. You guys know I told you that we all got attacked by bugs. They're black fly bugs. So they bit us on our fingers, on my elbows, on my legs. Oh, they ruby. Mostly when I'm in the garden, they do it. But then they itch for days. We've actually never had like lived any place where the black flies were really bad, but I think they're just really bad this year. And they had them at the barn last night or the other night. 
and everybody at the barn was complaining and saying like, oh my gosh, I'm eaten alive and it's not fun. There's these two rocks here. I'm gonna clean up this little area. There's some hens and chicks here, which I love those things. And I think they're really cute growing like around a rock and stuff. So I'm gonna leave those there, but we'll put like a little rose here yeah, and maybe three more on that side. What? The people that lived here before had all this stuff, this, what's it called? I forget. Anyway, it is annoying. I've had to dig it out of every garden. And it was not even like, it's like, it's just annoying this stuff. Yeah, it's so awful. So let's stop at the barn first. I have a bunch of stuff that I have to put away. Sam caught all the grass yesterday and already I see it growing. <laughs> Our vet stopped selling powdered butte. And this is the only stuff that they sell and it's liquid and I find like especially in the winter it solidifies on the bottom it's hard to keep it mixed it's annoying but now that it's summer I'm going to put it back out here our vet told us to leave it on its side so that it doesn't solidify all on the bottom anyway I had to keep it in the house this whole winter but it's going inside now it's going back to the barn now um I bought some things these work really good for the goat's feet so I bought a bunch of those and then I have some seeds that I have to finish planting in my garden and I have some more like some towels and stuff to go in my birthing kit. I'm getting pretty comfortable leaving the pig out now like we left her out and we were gone all morning shopping. I get a little bit of anxiety with her because she can get out of the goat area where I want her to be but she can't get out of the field if that makes sense like she can get into trouble. She can get into so much trouble no matter where she goes. Like, she bothers the horses. She's the safest with the goats and the chickens, but she just travels everywhere. But one thing is for sure, whenever she hears me, she comes running to the gate. She knows where we are. Yesterday I saw her go through there, so I made Sam fix it. There's like a hole. She knows where her water is. I really want to fill that up for her, but the goats sleep in it. Well, hello ladies. Hi Cricket, isn't she the cutest little goat? She's just, I don't know, there's just something about her. It's her personality. She's so sweet and so funny. Look at this chicken. She's laying with all the goats. I'm so grateful for this shaded area for the goats. Oh, and a chicken. <laughs> Are you laying an egg there? I keep this bucket in the house by the door so that every time I need to take stuff that I have stuff that it has to go down to the barn, I just throw it in this bucket. All my, my whole birthing kit got empty. I want to keep these because I've decided I really like winter breeding. But I definitely need to clean this thing out and get it all prepared. I find every time I'm like... Oh, here's some garbage bags. I'm always out here grabbing things really quick so nothing ever gets put back where it came from. So I'm going to... Oops, I'm going to try and clean it all out. There we are, ready again for next season. I actually have to buy a couple of, like I have to refill a few things, but. What is this? We're gonna use that. One thing that I loved was for all of our mamas who had tears and swelling after giving birth, I used this cream and it was amazing. It takes away pain, takes away inflammation, it takes away itching when you're healing. It's so good for them, it like worked amazing. So I'm just gonna store these in here so that when we need them, we have them. Just sticks over there, you can put them where you want and then I'll just get the steel posts and put the wire. So you mean these? Don't I need more than that? What I should have. Planning? I have no idea. I'm planting doing. rows of beans and peas. Okay, so plant, put two sticks where the row you want. It's simple. You're gonna put these where you're gonna put it, and then I'm gonna get the metal stakes and put it in, and then get. All right, I'm gonna do it right now. Oh. Are you going this way, or are you going along that way? I'm going this way. There you go. Done. I just want two rows of beans and peas. This way? Yeah. With that much space in between? That's well, it. I don't know. Space them however you want. I'm going to put um, steel posts and then I'm going to get that fencing and put 
the fencing on each one so it can grow. Yeah, I like I like them close, but far part is fine too. Because Sam's dad's giving us a. Do you have? Because if I go that way, I don't have a lot. But I'll buy more as soon as I find more, and then maybe I'll order some from Amazon, and then I'll add more. But Sam's dad is giving us a bunch of tomato plants. He's like a tomato freak. Allie, get out of there. Get out of the garden. So I actually only have like a little bit left of space for your tomatoes. So that's like my beans and peas area. Yeah, I only had one really long row last year and I had a ton for the whole season. So that will work. That will be perfect. The garden is quickly getting small. So I planted up to here with and all the way down even with like I planted pumpkins down there where the grass is. I planted like some melons and some cucumbers. I have a lot of stuff left to plant. One of my favorite plants ever is a uh, bleeding heart plant. I don't know if you guys know what it is. I'll show you. You have to plant them kind of in shade and I want to plant one right here. They're seriously one of my favorite plants ever. All right, the turkeys are stressing me out. They like lay there like they're dead, except for this one. This one I dropped on the floor, but he's doing well. <laughs> but the rest, I keep thinking they're dead. Like they sprawl out really weird with their legs. Because they can't walk yet. I know, it takes them a little while. I'm gonna leave them in here, but this guy over here actually is kind of suffering, struggling. I think he's got rye neck. I think, I don't know, something happened when he was being born and he's, Either knee. Oh, his eyes are open. They weren't open before. So I'm going to give him some medicine because I ended up only getting four out of my six turkeys hatched and I want all four to live. Oh, he's tripping now. He's so okay. I'm going to give him some medicine. It will really help. This one's fine. Yeah. Toby, of course, gets the good one. <laughs> he's brain damaged. <laughs> I dropped him, but he's super cute. He is so adorable. I love him. Others, but literally, fall. like, they fall over on their back and then they can't get up. And our chickens don't do that. They all do that. I might give them all medicine. All right, everybody had medicine and now they're gonna be a lot better. I give them, except for the one that's doing really well. So when I got these eggs, they were really dirty. Oh, all over. They were really dirty and they were kind of old, so I wasn't sure if they were gonna be okay. But look, they're already a lot better. Like one of them was just laying there. It looked like it wasn't gonna survive, but, oh, maybe it was him. It was him because it's, oh no, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, one of them did not look good at all, but now they're kind of all at least laying prone instead of on their side with their legs kicked out. I think they're gonna be okay. I'm gonna leave them in here though for the next 24 hours and I'm gonna continue to give them medicine because it will just really help them, especially if, sometimes chickens are just weak when they're first born and that's normal. But these guys, I don't know, I was con I was a little concerned about the quality of the eggs because if the eggs are really dirty, sometimes it can uh, have bacteria. So when they hatch, they get this bacteria and I kind of was worried about that. So anyway, I'm treating it with, I'm treating them with medicine. They should be okay. But you guys, we got four turkeys and you might not be excited, but I am excited about turkeys. Apparently it's going, it's supposed to rain for the next four days. Hopefully it does because I mostly have my garden and I still have a few other things to plant. I also have plants coming that I can't put in yet, but this is what it looks like so far. These are all my beans and peas and peppers. I really want to plant like all my lettuce in here, but I just know I won't have enough room to harvest everything. Then I have from here to about here. So I have this little section here that I still have to plant. I have a bunch of lettuce and then I have some plants that are, that are going in. And even though there's a lot of grass in here, <laughs> I planted some stuff in here. I find it so weird that I'm loving this farm life so much. Before we moved here, I felt done at horses. I had always, always wanted goats, but we didn't have enough room there and it just wasn't set up very well for goats. Then we got the goats and we started free ranging our chickens and it's been like a dream. Today, we were driving in town and I was looking at all the houses and 
all their yards and I was thinking like how it's so crazy how a certain lifestyle suit people differently like I could never live in town anymore where are all your friends where is everybody it's okay stay 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 don't get up <laughs> where is everybody oh Everybody's napping. You're all lazy. Everybody's chewing their cud. Everybody looks happy. There's my sweet girl. <laughs> I just love her. It's actually been so super quiet on the farm today. Like, so quiet. The whole time I was gardening, I could hear Penny squealing a storm. I just want to say, though, I'm so excited about Sophie's horse. Like, so excited. We're going to go tomorrow and visit her. So there are other things that we want to do around the farm, but I'm tired now. So we're going to finish them tomorrow. One of the things is that Sam always, I think it's a man thing. They always like make a junk pile and I don't care that he makes a junk pile, but he always makes like a hundred junk piles. And then the grass gets so tall around the junk pile. It just looks worse than it is. So I want to get, I want to clear that up tomorrow. And Sophie and I are going to go and visit her horse. But I also want to clean this up tomorrow too. I want to like wash everything, make everything nice and clean and organized. Am I the only one that gets so super excited when I have so many jobs to wake up to? I also want Sam to finish fixing this and bring it into and take it into the chicken coop. I'm going to put the baby chicks that we have. Shoot, I forget what they're called. They're giant chickens anyways. Um, I want to put them in here so that they can live here and then put the turkeys in the, where the, in the little brooder that they're in. I have so many plans for the weekend. So many plans. Even though I can do all this stuff during the week, it just feels like when it's a long weekend, it just feels like you can get all of your projects done. I don't know. I don't, it's hard to explain, but I'm excited. But I'm really excited about Sophie's horse. Like, at first I was so nervous and now I'm so excited. Like, I don't know. I just can't get over how amazing she is. I can't wait to go and see her tomorrow. So we're just gonna go for a visit. Sophie just loves to go and brush her hair. She takes forever. She uses all these lotions and stuff and she brushes her, her tail. Her tail is so thick. Takes forever for her to get the hair, like get it all clean. She grooms her. She like, she does so many things. Gives her treats. We spend so much time with her. Like she's so fun. Don't you know that you're